Hey, and welcome back to Berlin Libreflip. Actually, not. This is part two of the Big CNC uh, series that I started sometime in November. There was a bit of a delay in the progress because uh, the Cardos Makerspace didn't have enough power, but now we have a brand new and powerful 32 amp three phase line, so we are ready to hook up the CNC. Let's get going! So um, this is a friend of mine who is right now hooking up the power of the CNC uh, to the main power line here. And I'm very thankful that he's investing his Saturday evening to do this for Cardos and for the Lidl project. So uh, thanks Electronic Ego. That is a very tight hole. This is the last one. Are we ready? Yes. Yeah. Okay, hit it. Awesome, so the first thing works. Let's let's try the CNC. And in the best case I expect nothing I, I think nothing will happen. Okay. That's what I thought. So the machine now has power. So this works now, look at this. I couldn't be more happier. What else need, needs to happen before we can actually cut stuff with it? Right now, uh, the tool isn't hooked up yet and uh, we haven't tested all the functions yet. And also we need to put a, what's it called, waste board on here that we can screw into and work with in the beginning to learn how to operate this machine. Um, also, I can just... <laughs> okay, um, let's continue uh, later on, and I think this was pretty successful for tonight. Hey, and welcome back. This is still part two, and now we are ready to put on the MDF sheet as wasteboard, and maybe this is the evening where this thing will cut for the very first time, and I'm so excited. Okay, this is a tank for water, and this is a pump which will go in there like this. And before I'll hook it all up, I want to test if this actually works. So let's put some water in here, and then switch on the pump, and then I expect some water to uh, go out of this little hole there. Okay, let's plug this in. Okay. It works. This little pump pumps uh, cool water through the spindle, through this and that tube to keep the spindle cool. Let's see if some water actually flows. So, uh, next step is to see if this actually turns, we don't know yet. And also uh, to drill and prepare the waste board that will go on here. Let's switch on the machine and see if we can turn the spindle. Okay, mains are on. Let's switch on the machine itself. Okay, comes up. 
Let's go to the computer. Here at the computer we need to boot Mark 3. Let's give it the command to switch on the spindle. Let's see what happens. It says device error triggered and it immediately stopped again. Damn. Okay. Let's look at the spindle while we do that. It doesn't even turn, but it makes a small noise. That is unfortunate. Let's look at the potential sources for this error. So this device up here is the driver for the spindle. And right now it says stop and forward. And I don't know why. And this is what I'm trying to find out. I guess the best step would be to first try to put this into a manual mode and see what's going on or maybe let's see what kind of errors we have in the memory of this device right now. Um, I think I have to fiddle with this quite a bit and this will be very boring to diagnose the error. So I won't document this on video and I'll uh, explain the solution as soon as I have one. Okay, welcome back. Now it's uh, three weeks later. We had quite some issues with the VFD, but I think it works now. Um, two days ago, we, for the first time, successfully turned the spindle, and now we're actually ready to start cutting something. Okay, the first part we will mill on this CNC is a waste board, and the waste board needs uh, to be screwed down and then flattened. So let's check this out. This is the waste board with its hold down holds. And let's check out the path for this. Okay, there is no path yet. Let's make a path then. Okay, a mill bit is in. Now let's reference the X and the Y axes before we start milling anything with this machine. Looks good, great. Okay, let's move the portal back and put on the sheet. Now that the sheet is on, we can find the zero of the Z-axis. We are using the old paper trick for that. So we will start cutting. Start the program. Cycle start. This is the very first cut and we are cutting the holes to mount the waste board to the work surface. The first cut is done, so we can take off the freshly cut waste board. We are moving the piece to have enough room to put in the hold down screws and the nuts for the T-slots. The CNC has five T-slot rails along its Y-axis. We are attaching the nuts and screws one row at a time and then slide the waste board forward, carefully inserting the nuts in the T-slot rails. And we actually had to do this twice because we used the wrong screws. The last step before this CNC router is operational is to face off the waste board. So without further ado, let's face off the waste board. Awesome! So this machine...
machine works now. This concludes part two of this series of the Big CNC. If you want to see another episode of this machine, then uh, please comment below and give it a thumbs up. And in the next episode, if there will be one, I might be making a new floor for a sailboat just to test the machine and get used to it. But I can say that this machine is working fine and I can now hand it over to the Cardo School to make parts for mobile hospitals in crisis and war regions, which is amazing. And if you have some spare change, please donate to Cardo's. They will use that money to help people in crisis and war-torn regions to get very basic medical help, which they otherwise wouldn't get. I think this cause is important. This is why I'm volunteering here. And I'm super grateful that this cooperation with Carlos worked out so nicely. Um, there is a new episode of Legal Flip in the making as well. There are some news to come. Um, check out my Twitter. And um, if you have never seen what I do on YouTube, then please come to subscribe to my channel. The button is somewhere down there. Wait, there's more. Obviously, we didn't stop here. We had to try to use the machine and cut something. So here's some bonus content for you.